Let me tell you a style I use of leadership that helps people determine when they're doing things correctly and when they're doing things seriously incorrectly. It's a theory called the hot stove theory. When I was a kid, I grew up in Wisconsin, very cold winters, and we had a wood stove in the middle of the living room. One wood stove for the entire house. My oldest brother, who had a big part of raising me as I got older, would stoke up the wood stove. And in those days, nobody thought about safety. There was no metal rim around it to keep you away from it. It was a pot belly cast iron stove sitting in the middle of the room, stoked, full of wood, huge fire, super hot. It's amazing. Every two-year-old that walked into that living room would walk towards that stove. They would feel the heat. Most of them were smart enough not to touch the cast iron stove. Every once in a while, one would touch it. Once. They learned right away, don't touch the hot stove. You're going to get burnt. Well, so I use that theory in my businesses. When I bring on a new employee, I do an orientation. And during that orientation, I give the employee the hot stoves. I tell them point blank, if you touch the hot stove once, you're going to get burnt. And in the world of business, burnt means fired. You lie to me one time. You're fired. I don't care how big, I don't care how small the lie. You lie to me one time, you're going to get burnt. You're going to get fired. If I lie to you one time, I'll quit. You steal from me a single french fry, you're fired. If I steal from you, in other words, I have you work and I don't pay you for your time, I'll quit. If I berate you, I'll quit. You yell at me, you're fired. And by making the hot stoves, what the employees will understand quickly, especially if they see it in action, they will understand where your lines are. They won't need a safety net. They know what the rules are of the game. They know what is required of them as employees. Most people don't wake up every day and say, I want to do a crappy job. My objective today is to perform at the lowest level possible. Most people don't do that. What it is is it's bad leadership that causes that to happen. And in many instances, it's the employee not knowing what the issues are when they get so severe. If you look at business, a lot of times the employee gets fired after they've stolen a deposit, but yet they've been stealing french fries. They've been stealing hours of work that they weren't working. They've been stealing stuff out of the other employee's lockers. They've been stealing a dollar out of the cash drawer, but they don't get fired until they stole the deposit. Well, the same goes true in our lives. The reality is, most people don't wake up one day and use heroin regularly. What they do is they start with the little drugs, and then they get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until they work up to cocaine and heroin. And then it's, oh my goodness, this guy is a drug addict. Well, but you could have stopped him way back here. You see it with physical abuse in households across the country and around the world. Sadly, the woman that gets beat, we end up hearing about after she really gets beat up. But yet, it doesn't usually start at getting beat up that hot and heavy. It usually starts by nasty name calling, grabbing, 
pushing. And the woman allows that to happen because she's afraid or doesn't know what steps to take. And the man allows it to happen because he's ignorant. He hasn't been told what the hot stoves are. You touch the hot stove, you're going to get burnt. Catch it early. And what you will find is employees will know what the hot stoves are. They will communicate with each other what they are. And they will not touch that hot stove. Every once in a while, it will happen. A new employee will come in and touch the hot stove. Boom, they're gone. An employee who takes it for granted will come in every once in a while, they'll touch that stove. Boom, they're gone. But the majority of situations, they're like the smart two-year-olds. They won't touch the hot stove. They can feel the heat.